Jefferson, the member from London West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Earlier this week, a media expose forced the government to finally fund the nine empty beds at St. Joseph Healthcare's newly built forensic hospital. These beds were desperately needed to treat mentally ill offenders who are found not criminally responsible in the place where they should be treated, a healthcare setting instead of a jail. Today, Londoners are learning more about the impact of the funding cuts to St. Joseph's Healthcare that were announced this week. Just as they funded the empty forensic beds, will the Acting Premier commit to Londoners that his government will address the new problems that are sure to arise as St. Joseph's Healthcare deals with the loss of funding? Thank you. Acting Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you for the question as well. I'm proud that our government has provided uh, uh, the necessary support to build the state-of-the-art Southwest Center for Forensic Mental Health Care, which is now being completed by, which was completed in June of 2013. And it's important that we continue to provide the services uh, for the individuals that are affected. And I recognize, especially those with developmental services needs and and with mental health issues, that we need to find the proper support systems for them. So we'll continue to do that. But since 2003-2004, the number of forensic mental health beds has increased by 42 percent, Mr. Speaker, from 556 to 789, and we're doing what's necessary, and we'll continue to take those uh, recommendations under consideration as we must for the benefit of the people of Ontario and those that are affected. Thank you. Supplementary, the member from London, Fanshawe. Back to the acting, pre acting Premier. Last week, we learned that healthcare CEO in London received a 144% pay increase. Today, we learned that St. Joseph Healthcare Centre in London will be cutting 23 positions, including eight nurses in the sexual assault, surgical recovery, and require acquired brain injury program, among others. We know that cuts to nursing care directly impact the health of patients. A, stu a study released yesterday provided clear proof that increasing RN workloads resulted in higher death rates for patients. It was further reported, Premier, Acting Premier, that Ontario has the second lowest registered nurse to person ratio. Shame. Will Shame. the Acting Question. Premier tell us whether his government will intervene this time around or will cuts to patient care be allowed to continue? Thank you. 